is the new large um, zip top shop tote. It's pretty nice. Uh, I believe, and I'll double check again. I think I said, I think it was 27 liters capacity. So it's basically got the capacity of the Synapse. That's a big cavernous bag. It's got these two side pockets, which could definitely maybe hold vegetables or double bottles of water, or maybe even um, a wine bottle or two. And then it's got the double zip for the zip top. Okay, and the padded handles. Okay. And I wanted to show it to you guys compared next to my pop tote. Like I'm trying to get, it rained here for like a week, so everything's super muddy. I'm trying to protect all my stuff from the mud. So here is actually my favorite bag of the entire Tombin collection. And it's filled with Tombin accessories right now. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, and so this one, I believe, was 19 liters capacity. And this is 27. So you'll see there's a pretty big difference. Only this is the um, Aubergine 525 fabric, so it has a lot more structure to it. Kind of sits up on its own. This 210 is going to definitely have a lot more flexibility, although a little bit more rigidity than the Halcyon versions of Pop Tote. So let me put it inside so y'all can see what that looks like. Comparative. <laughs> So there it is, it's nested in there, marsupialized as we like to say. And you can see that there's definitely a significant amount of um, room extra after uh, the definitely um, gonna be that full uh, eight or nine liters difference between the two. And the reason why I got this, even um, it seems kind of redundant since I do have the pop tote bag, which is my favorite bag in the whole planet. <laughs> um, but I, when I travel with my dog, he requires a lot of stuff. He's a little dog, a bit of a diva, even though he's a boy. And um, I was always putting it in here. Well, it started to smell like dog. And I'm sorry, but I just don't want my favorite bag in the whole world to smell like dog as much as I love my dog. So that's what I'm hoping that the packing cube, I'm mean, the packing cube, excuse me, the zip top shop bag in large can hold all of his stuff, including his travel bed. He's got like a little travel bed that goes in there. Uh, and I'm hoping that the smell will stay with this, and I'm hoping no smell at all, but um, that way my bag will be um, dog smell free. <laughs> so um, let's see what it looks like when it's completely full, shall we? So I'm going to put all of this stuff in here. It's going to kind of be squished in there, but I want you guys to see. See how it's already starting to retain shape? And oh my gosh, it, it is a bit like a Mary Poppins bag. It is holding all of this stuff. Let's see if it will hold the synapse too. I can, I already hear some of you guys going, no, smart Alec, excuse me. Why are you folding up your smart Alec? It's squishy, it is. <laughs> all right, now the nice thing about this is once it is full to capacity, you've got that zip top that keeps everything in, okay? I would say this would definitely fit as a carry-on item for an airline, uh, definitely too big for a personal item if you feel it's a capacity. So I would definitely underpack it if that's what you're looking for. Um, if you have any questions, I'm going to do an updated video with my entire Tombin collection because as you probably saw, I've de-stashed a lot of things. Um, I've swapped out some things and um, so my collection has definitely changed in the last year since I um, posted the Tombin collection. But if there's any comparison you'd like to see or a bag side by side, just message me below. I'm always happy to um, show that and answer any questions. All right, I'll see y'all later.